Dear colleagues, this is a case of um, glaucoma patient that have a cataract also and you can see the shallow anterior chamber and um, on top of this uh, nice uh, very uncooperative uh, patient. I use the AC maintainer to fashion the capsulorexis. I'm aiming for uh, larger than the pupil uh, capsulorexis so uh, uh, the pupil is around 4 millimeters. I'm aiming for uh, 5 or to 5.5 millimeter uh, rexis and do some hydro dissection. The cataract is not that uh, hard, probably 2 plus to 3 uh, grade. In this case I use uh, stop and chop technique and fashing a, a trench and um, using the chopper I separate the two heminucleuses. Notice the fact that the patient is very very unstable and uncooperative is moving uh, a lot on the table so um, and separating the two pieces I have to I have a nice crack all the way down to the posterior plate the cataract uh, again is not a hard one hard nucleus is very uh, easy to emulsify Right here, I'm sitting uh, and uh, counseling the the patient. Is try to move uh, a lot. He's having uh, back pain and all that. I'm reassuring that uh, reassure him that the, the surgery will uh, not take long. So uh, to be to have a little bit uh, patient, and uh, we're gonna finish together the case. So um, emulsifying uh, some of the parts of the one of the hemiduclases and notice the fact that the, the phaco probe is chewing very easily to the nucleus so it's not getting a nice purchase on it so I can uh, lift it a little bit up or out up and up upwards and uh, up out of the bag I'm uh, succeeding that with the other half of the nucleus and doing a nice uh, crack a chop and uh, in this way a quarter of this uh, hemi-nucleus is uh, emulsified moving with the chopper the other quarter and uh, splitting it uh, in smaller pieces it's making the, the surgery even easier than it is notice the fact that I'm keeping the the phaco probe with the bevel down I prefer to do that in this small anterior chamber cases especially with the glaucoma patients it will help you to have a clear cornea the next day and keeping the phaco emulsification inside the bag or at the iris plane the most uh, it's uh, not a thing that will uh, help uh, help you getting a clear cornea the next day and help you help your patient to recover uh, faster after the surgery so the cataract is done I have some cortical remnants on the bag and uh, I will use uh, an aspiration needle and uh, an anterior chamber to finish cleaning up the, the bag real well. I'm trying to not have another uh, sideboard so I place the, the AC maintainer in the main incision on an angle so I can block that uh, leakage from the main incision and have a, a clear clean bag at the end of uh, cortical removal and then uh, injecting the IOL I will uh, 
switch the AC maintainer in the sideboard and then uh, through the main incision uh, I inject the IOL which in this case is a CFI platform it's uh, it's a smaller uh, IOL this one have uh, like 10.5 millimeters in diameter and um, it's 10.5 long so in this small eyes uh, glaucoma eyes with uh, hyperopia it's uh, I think it's better to use this kind of IOLs I prefer those and using the the aspiration needle uh, I prefer to use this because have uh, a round uh, shape uh, tip same way as uh, irrigation aspiration probes and pressing down the iris root to break the anterior synechia and that's the end of the case